Alright, hey dudes, and welcome back to another episode of Prison Break, and this is my plot. Yeah, <laughs> I was building my plot not too long ago, and um, I sort of stopped because I was like, hmm, maybe I should record this. So I'm actually going to record me building my shop, and it actually looks really cool. Um, since the last episode and this episode, episode number 7, um, I did a lot, a lot of stuff, so I have pretty i have some loot a lot of loot actually i have really good loot so i have a lot of enchanted diamond armor a lot of random drop parties i went to this also a lot of random crap <laughs> there's unenchanted that's easy to get and rare items and all ores. so i have so many ores look at all this ore um it's not that much actually but because i was using it as you can see i put so many blocks under uh, blocks of diamonds and emeralds and gold and everything and the rares i got a lot of rare stuff so look at the soul sand i got it's crazy what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna sell the soul sand because soul sand is pretty rare but i don't know how okay the server crashed and there's a chest that exploded okay someone's chest shop exploded and i was perfectly at the perfect time right there and exploded like, I don't understand why it exploded, but I got the loot from it. I feel kind of bad for hijacking from that dude, but he was selling the soul sand for five bucks only, I think. Or she was selling it for five bucks, so that's actually pretty cool. This vines, I got it from someone else. I'm going to show you a shop also. I'm going to show, I'm going to do some plot reviews. Um, well, kind of plot reviews. And also, um, as you can see in the background, they actually added uh, a auction. That's actually happened today. Today, once I finished my test, um, I have a test. I had a test today, and I came back home, and the auction was added. So they probably reset the server and did something with that. And yeah, other rare stuff: orange stained clay. Apparently, there's a lot. Like everyone that has stained clay only has orange for some reason. I don't know if this is like Halloween kit or something, but yeah. I have spruce sampling. I bought it for like a thousand. Birch sampling. Um, I bought one for 500 and I grow trees, but because I used to have a, like, I used to have a better plot, like a bigger plot, and I wanted to renovate, like, you know, redo it all over again, and that's pretty much what I did. So I had a plot, I sort of built some stuff on it, I made some tree farms, and I was like, I'm not satisfied with this, it looks like crap, it looks like wood everywhere, because I didn't have any rare items, and I got some rare items now, and look at all the ground, it's pretty pretty, pretty, very pretty. Um, I'm switching that to iron bars after, iron bars looks way better, but I'm gonna be setting up shop later, uh, on these chests, but for now I'm just gonna tell you about the stuff I got. So rare items, um, I have mycelium, I got it from an auction for only 10k, that's crazy. Dirt, I bought a lot, some people were selling it for 9k only, and uh, I got one from a drop party. Sand, I forgot where I got sand from. I think it was a drop party, so that was actually really amazing. Ice, I bought it for 1000, painting, I bought it for 100 from the same guys that sold the vines. Hoppers, they don't work anymore, golden apples, I had that before. And apples, I just made tree farms, and this random Christmas kit, and nether quartz, and meh, stuff. <laughs> and then I have a lot of wood. I've been collecting wood a lot, because in the beginning of my plot, as I said, I made it all out of wood. So, it, I sort of ha took down half of what I had in that chest, and then I tore it back down, and put it back right in. <laughs> so that was kind of the stupidest move ever, but... I'm gonna check my money. I didn't check it. Um, I have 118k. I've been shopping a lot, and I could have got more by selling um, all these ores I have, but I never sold. I don't wanna sell them because I first wanna make my plot look very pretty, you know. But I'm gonna go check out some people's shops that are really awesome. So there's one. His is Viner Free. Look at this guy. Look at the vines he has. I could actually do this, but it will look horrible. It looks like crap. So I'm sorry, Viner, if you're looking at this video. Probably not, but your 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 place looks like crap. But you're selling really good deals. Look at the good deals. One dollar for only ten vines. People sell vines for a thousand for some reason. Even though you could actually make this farm and easily get vines. Um, and the paintings. He sold it for only ten bucks. I don't really need paintings anymore. He also sells some diamonds. Uh, low price diamonds because uh, secret shop is 250 
But anyways, let me go check out someone else's plot. Um, there's some plots I remember because I sell to them a lot, and some plots I just check, like, you know, Joshua right here. He just, he just, like, comments, and I see his rank A, and he's a VIP. That means he has better minds, meaning he's probably going to put better deals. But Jibo DX, or whatever his name is, he sells pretty good deals. 50 over secret shop and the rest 50 under secret shop. So that's actually pretty awesome. Uh, let me actually check that Joshua dude. I don't know what he has up there, but I'm going to do a plot review for you, man. Whoa. Hey, look at this crap. I think I just got some random. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, what the fuck? What just happened? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. That is a problem. Also, people kick me out of the plot. Just like that. Like, I got kicked out. And everyone's getting kicked out. And like, how do you want us to access your shop if you if uh, I don't I don't even know. But whatever. Um, let me check out someone else's plot. So, Blatto. You see this guy? He just new to take NK ranks. I'm just like, oh, he probably has really awesome deals. Go check it out. Ooh, what the hell? Oh, ho, ho. what? <laughs> um, I think there's supposed to be ch a chest there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there we go some clay guys. That's how I get a lot of crap. Oh Okay, sorry for sorry for stealing. I didn't steal anything <laughs> But as you can see I'm actually lagging really bad at plots um, The reason that that is just because as I said before probably in uh, the episode number six is that I didn't load the world enough and people are actually trying to scam on uh, auction a lot so of course they're weird, but ooh Oh, <laughs> these are really good deals. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is a really good deal. And it's out of stock. This is a really freaking good deal. My God. Who's this John? Okay. John Patrick, you're freaking good, man. This is some awesome deals. These are amazing deals. 20000 for Napple. That's actually pretty good. 50 k I usually sell that for that, but it's not worth it. Okay, what is this? I don't dare to press it, but... I like, I don't want to press it because I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm lagging so bad. And apparently jungle samplings are really rare. So I'm, wow, I got so much loot. So pretty much, um, there's two people I go to. I think Yoshi something, 7666 or something. I don't even freaking know. There's someone, he's named Yoshi something, and he has freaking good deals. He has exactly the same as Secret Shop, so, or one lower or something like that. That's really good. But just for the sake of it, I might just sell it to some random dude. Um, yeah, that, that, that's out of stock. All right, screw that. I'm, I'm going to this guy's this guy's place. I'm gonna sell my diamonds. Here, here, here. What? Come on, seriously? Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Sell the diamonds, and there we go. That should have brought me back up. Yep. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I actually sold for a lot. Um, let me go back to my plot and let's actually start building my plot and doing some stuff with this. Um, so now I'm just going to keep on stacking up the layers. Um, this will be my storage room. Under that will be my shop. Over the storage room, I want either a tree farm or a tree farm. Yeah, I'm going to do, no, I'm going to do a furnace room and then I'm going to do a tree farm. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I did. Uh, that's what I did for last time. Last time, um, you guys didn't saw it. I didn't record it, but if you play on this server, you might have saw it. Um, I just had a lot of wood, and uh, that looked like crap. So let's get this crafting. Oh, we have crafting benches in there. I totally forgot. This is a new way I'm hiding crafting benches for no reason. I don't even know why I have to hide hide crafting benches. But let me just. Combine all of these um, lapis. Come on, seriously, what the hell? No, no. Um, right there. Take those. Take those. Oh my God, it's gonna be long. And there we go. Co oh, what the frick! All right, there we go. We got our stuff. Lapis. There we go. And stuff. I'm really organized if you don't didn't notice. I organize a lot. 
I don't know why. I just feel like organizing. I'm just like, I have to organize it. It, it doesn't look good. Block of coal that goes in here. Unenchanted diamond tools. Where I get all these diamond tools? I don't even know. And I don't even care, so. Uh, I'm keeping this axe because I'm going to use it, maybe. And store all this crap. Alright, next up, furnace room. I don't know what I'm going to do um, exactly. I'm probably just going to make the waterfall go from really high. Un okay, let me just do whatever I think looks good. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, crap. Okay, I didn't fall down and die. That's good. Let's go here. One, two, three, four, five. I think five is way too high. Yeah, five is way too high. It's four. Alright, so go one down. I don't really care if I waste wood. Um, let's see, what should I do? I should make a wall here, but I should put another pillar, maybe right here. One, two, three, and then one, two, three, oh, it's four. Um, let me s take a look at that. Alright guys, I am back, and now I'm gonna go somewhere where you guys don't know where I'm going. Now I'm gonna go to the B rank, um, just because I need brick, and also needs, I'm gonna speed mine over there also. So, I'm going to be speed mining, and you guys will be seeing that for a while, just because I need some brick, and I also need a couple of... Like, ores. Well, I don't really need a couple of ores, but I want to to get money, you know? Alright guys, I am back and I am at B rank, and I am just gonna run for it. Someone's gonna be camping here. No, he's not. Wow, surprisingly, there's a lot of brick on the ground. I'm gonna collect it. I know there's emeralds and diamonds everywhere. I'm gonna go for them, but I'm gonna be careful, because probably a lot are gonna be trapped. Just a guess. So let's go. No trap yet, which is good. Leveled up, which is good. Um, don't fall down. I think the prison mine just reset, didn't it? Yeah, they just resetted. So no wonder there's no one that took stuff on here. And um, more loot over here. And let's go back down. I already have enough break, actually. But screw that slash bid. Ah, oh, dang it. Also, when someone does this, like 64 diamonds for 40 seconds, start bid 1, and then bid for that. Make sure you don't just type slash bid the fastest as possible. Ta uh, type slash bid 1. Just to be safe, because I do, like, if you make a mistake, what happens is that you lose a lot of money. And that's horrible. So, let's just keep mining here. AG Lights. Who's this dude? I don't even know, but he's a YouTuber. And I want to be a YouTuber also. I don't even know how much subs he has, but this is what kind of sucks sometimes. Um, I applied for YouTuber rank. I'm still not YouTuber rank, actually. I didn't told you guys yet um, in the beginning of the episode. I said last episode I wasn't, but that was the last episode. But this episode, I'm still not YouTuber rank. This is what kind of sucks, because Colton or any of the staff are not actually looking at a lot of the applications. I've been looking at, like, Colton's activity and some other people's recent activity, and they don't really have anything on YouTuber rank. They don't, I mean, not YouTuber rank, but on the YouTube rank application uh, forum. They're just looking, they're not even looking there. Like, they're not replying anything, so that's what kind of sucks. I don't know if he saw mine, and... If, because if he saw mine, I was hoping if he saw mine, he would just say no, no or yes, yes or no, and say, like, why, you know? Uh, nothing. Not even a single guy. Well, actually, one guy actually uh, 
posted on my application he said you have you sub you buy subs and I'm like I don't buy subs and I don't know why he's thinking that but I'm pretty sure the reason why he's thinking that is because of my views but it's pretty normal it's a new series prison break and I don't really expect it to be that high of views because my channel is not based on that um, and talking about my channel I'm not really based on anything actually I really don't really know what to do like I do Minecraft um, and I'm planning to make my channel so I'm gonna talk a lot about my channel while I'm mining so I'm actually probably not gonna speed mine this but uh, my channel what should I do is it I think that my channel I put a lot of Minecraft I still haven't put any other game which is kind of sad except for Assassin's Creed but Assassin's Creed the bad thing about it is it's taking me forever to record it lags so much and I'm kind of getting bored at recording that, which kind of is not fun for me. I really love Assassin's Creed. Don't get me wrong. Um, it was like my best, the best uh, game I ever, like the best game series that I liked forever. Oh, Creepercast is on. Let me message him. This guy gave me like 70k. Yo, dude. Um, so I should give that back if I have the money. I'm a pretty generous dude, so even if he pays me, I'll pay him back, no matter what. So, well, not no matter what, if he's a good friend, and he's actually a pretty good friend. Gave me 70 bucks. He helped me a bit on getting to B rank, I guess. And yeah, um, I'm a pay you back how much you gave me. Um, if he says like, like he, if he lies, I know, I know how much he gave me, like 60 something. If he lies, I'll just give him 60. If he doesn't lie, I'll give him like 70, <laughs> 70k. I'm a nice guy. I'm a very, very nice guy. I do this. Hmm. He mining fifth level 15. That's actually crazy. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm not really sure what I should do with my channel. I think that what I do, what I should do, is in Minecraft. 45k. Wow, that guy is even lower than what he had. I'll just pay him 50k. This is being honest. 50, 1, 2, 3. There you go. It's your lucky day, bro. <laughs> Don't worry, I have good shops. And can I have a shout out on your YouTube? Well, dude, I think you have one right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell him I'm recording or anything. But he might check this video out anyway, so thank you, man. Thank you, Cooper Crafter, for helping me out. And I don't know, maybe I could recruit you to my plot. I'm not too sure. Because some people just ask me randomly, like, oh, can you help me? Can you recruit me to the plot just because they don't have the money? And, uh, like, because to recruit someone in the plot, you only need 100k instead of 200k for buying a plot. So I'm pretty sure that's the reason to why people want to go to my plot or go to anyone's plot. And I don't really want to add random strangers in. Well, even though Creeper Crafter is actually a stranger, but you know, it's someone that I collaborated with some uh, somehow. You know, and I this is how I mine usually. So if you guys are looking at my mining instead of my talking, well, you should be looking at my mining. But I just do like these strip mines. Hmm. Can I have a shout on? Ah, stop spamming me! Stop! Stop spamming me! Spamming. All right, whatever. But yeah, so I think for my Minecraft, in the subtitle, like the subsection of my Minecraft, I'm going to do a lot of Let's Plays. Like, if you've been seeing me lately, I've been doing a lot of Minecraft map Let's Plays. Or just some random survival Let's Plays, like uh, Prison Break. Not a survival Let's Play, but a series. That's actually pretty amazing. Ooh, two blocks of gold for one buck. That's amazing. Two blocks of gold, that will equal to about uh, 300 bucks, let's say. That would be my max bid. So I'm gonna try to bid better. Oh, 300 bucks. I'm not bid <laughs> betting anymore. That's over expense now. Wait, actually, no, no, ho, ho, no. 300 bucks is not because it's nine, so it's 18 gold. And 18 gold, each single gold gives you 100. So I'll go for 700. Come on, three, two, one. Dang. Seriously? Okay, my reflex are too slow. <laughs> Whatever. I almost got two blocks of gold. Kind of not really useful, but... Well, actually, it is kind of useful. 
one iron sword through that. So yeah, I'm gonna do a lot of map let's plays. I have so much in my folders. There's like a folder I have like Minecraft maps. I have like 20, literally 20. Oh, okay, let's go lower, 15. But that's actually crazy. <laughs> And I'm gonna be doing a lot of those maps let's play because it's really fun. It looks really fun each of them I just don't have enough time to do it um, Like in the weekends and lately as I said, I have a lot of schoolwork, which kind of sucks um, I still have to do school. I don't like School is something that's bothering me for my YouTube, but of course school is the priority uh, against YouTube so school wins the school wins and YouTube doesn't which is not the right thing. No, I, it is the right thing, but I'm gonna try to uh, record the most maps let's play I can. That's a problem what I'm having with Assassin's Creed pretty much. It's literally just that, like I can't record. It's just, I don't have the time and Assassin's Creed takes like so long to record each episode. And it's not like, it's not something I really want to record, you know? Because it's kind of long and I don't have the time to do it, so I don't want to... Because every time when I finish recording it, I don't really edit anything. I just, like, put it there, render it. There we go. Why I render it is just to, like, stabilize the frames to 70, 720. And then also um, put in, like, a sort of fade-out, fade-in. Fade-in, fade-out, which kind of is pretty much pointless. But I still do it. I still do it. Just so I do a bit of editing. Just because, yeah, I don't know. <sighs> I've been having so much stuff at school and it kind of sucks. 7,500, that's a really good deal for dirt. I'm not going to buy it though. I don't need dirt. I have like 13. I'm um, just going to keep mining. I, I think I'm the only one mining down here, so that's actually amazing. That's why I'm getting so much freaking emerald and crap, you know? So let me... What the hell? Oh, okay, dirt. Never mind. Hmm. So yeah. If you guys want to see more Assassin's Creed um, and you really want me to post it out more faster, just tell me because I'm not having enough time to do it. And if you guys want me to do it, I'll put more time into it, put more thought into it um, because it is something I started and I have to finish what I started. So let's do this, guys. We could finish the Assassin's Creed series. It's 40 snowballs. I don't know how you get snowballs. And also, this is something really weird. Um, so I told someone, like, I gave someone a random shovel, I think, and then he's like, I don't need it, I have a silk touch. Um, and I was like, oh, you could get clay then, like clay blocks. And I was, and he was like, no, I can't get clay blocks. It automatically changed clay, these clay, to brick. Automatically. It won't let you change it to anything else, which kind of sucks. So, even with silk touch, I was planning on using silk touch and silk touching all these stained clay, I mean clay, and just put it to hardening clay and then stain clay, you know? That's the smartest thing to do. I mean, so... I was like, why is there only orange stain clay? Is the only dye we have orange? I don't even know where orange dye comes from. It's yellow and... I don't even know. I don't know what makes orange. But, yeah, I'm just gonna keep mining. How much dime? Wow. That's actually pretty good. Look at the diamonds and emeralds. I don't even have a fortune pig. I just have a regular pig, which is really stupid because if I had a fortune pig, I'd have double the, what I have right now. And that's kind of retarded, but, you know, I, 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 I go, go with the flow, guys. Go with the flow. Um, yeah, so that's enough talking about my channel. I might just return soon because I have enough brick. Brick for days. I could just keep mining here, but I don't really have any efficiency uh, shovel. Which doesn't help me at all because it takes more time to mine. But you know what, guys? I'm actually going to go back to my plot and I'll see you there. I'll go mine a bit more, maybe. Or speed mine. So, yeah, speed mine, actually. So, let's go, speed mine.
Alright, hey guys, I am back, and I am going to the draw party, but I can't attend it, because crap. Well, crap. I'm gonna message him. I can't access your plot. Meh. Alright, whatever. But I've been mining, and I got this much items. Pretty awesome. And I'm just gonna put this all to brick because I need brick for the first time. I need freaking brick. I don't even know why I need brick. I, I don't even know. But let me craft all these bricks. Pretty decent amount of diamonds and emeralds. I would say for like one and a half run of uh, mines, I guess. Not so bad. Not too bad. All right, let's go to. Let's actually go to this guy. This guy's plot. It's right next to this guy's plot, but I just remember his name more better. This guy. He sells crazy stuff. Let's see if he has money. Okay, he does have money. Um, so. Sell for 17. Okay, sell. And buy. And buy, 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 buy. Buy all the diamonds I need. And sell, and then buy. This is literally what I do every single day. When I get on and this guy has money. I sell, I buy, I sell, I buy until he has no more money at all. He, he it's so dumb. Oh, did I just sell my emeralds? Who cares? It doesn't matter. That was a good sell. 3,000, uh, 33k. So like, I just keep doing this, literally. And this guy, this guy is, I don't know if he knows his math well or is he, or he's just trying to help us. This is the guy, he's just pretty much giving away his money. So, thank you, Dan Pan Man. The men. So, come to this guy's plot and do this every single day. Because <laughs> this will give you, I swear, a lot of money. You buy 600 for 5 diamonds. At Secret Shop, it's 250, right? So, literally, you get a profit of like, let's see, how much? That's like a thousand almost. He has no more money. He's almost dead on money. He, he, yeah, uh, he's really low on money. And I just keep doing this until he has ac absolutely not one single penny. There you go. I can't even buy. I can't even sell. It's done. His money's gone. That's literally what I do every day. Let's see how much money I got. 167. Look, I paid Creeper Crafter 50k. And I only had a hundred and something, right? So I literally got a hundred K from that. Just from that. So thank you very much, dude. Thank you very much. I just revealed my secret. So this is how I get a lot of money. Um, I didn't use this too much because he always runs out of money. I think there's this girl right here. She, because she's right beside uh, this dude, of course she knows about him and he just, she just keeps selling him probably also. But they, these guys have a pretty good deal pretty good deals but I'm just gonna go back to my plot because I'm gonna show you what I was gonna plan on doing so as you can see I still have the same pattern right so this will be uh, almost the end of the episode I'm just gonna finish off this and we will be good to go so I'm gonna put a craft chest in here and craft chest what I mean is bricks and under rack cobblestone and crap um, let me put these diamonds right in here so I still got my diamonds, and I I got a hundred bucks, and I still got my diamonds. That's that's so crazy. Um, now what? Now what? Now what? Yes, take this. Take some iron. Take some gold. I already have. Ugh, I already have iron and gold. So, um, let's just do this. Um, so let's put the gold as that because that's a rare thing, right? Oh no, let's put the iron as that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put iron to replace the that. And I'm going to put brick to replace that. I hope this looks good. I hope this looks good. If this looks bad, I'll tear it down. And in the next episode, we're going to continue upgrading the shop. And I'll be adding some chest shops. And yeah. Um. So then, add in the bricks, which will replace that. So I do this all around, which will replace the wood. Um, let's do that. Keep going, keep going. 
I hope this design doesn't like look horrible. I hope it looks at least a bit decent. Uh, decent enough so I keep this for some time until I hate it very much. Um, there we go. And then there's another layer of that, so another layer of iron. But only like on the corners. And then after that, I'm going to put gold. So take that out. Um, gold, I'm going to put it right on top of that. I need eight pieces only, even though I have way more gold than iron. And that's actually weird. Um, right there, right? Oh, I also put it around. Okay, so like that. So it's 12 gold. And it's the brick I put back in the middle. Right? Oh, I put another layer of iron. Hmm. I never know that. Weirdest pattern I ever did. But it looks good. And then brick in the middle. That's actually going to ruin everything. The brick. Alright, so let me take a look. Uh, I hope it doesn't look good. I mean, I hope it looks good. Not that it doesn't look good. Uh, hey, yeah. Hey, hey. Okay. It looks decent. Decent. From under here. But how much... How good does it look on top? That is a big question. Because I'm going to be staying on top. Oh. Hmm. You know what? This actually looks really good. I like the pattern. It, it looks good. If only, okay, if I can, I would switch the brick with something else. Like maybe in the middle I could put diamonds or emeralds. And then around put diamonds, but that's crazy. I don't have a silk touch pick, so I might do that. I might do that once I get the the right amount of um, ore, I guess. So let me just set back two more, and let's climb up to the top, which will take me forever. Forever and ever and ever. Oh, what? Okay, this one doesn't even have water. There we go. And then climb up. And let's place on the other one also. So my pot is going pretty decent. It's looking pretty damn good. I would say by myself. For, uh, I would say so myself. Let me jump down here and not kill myself. Of course I won't die. And yeah. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed once again this video. In the next episode, I'm going to continue building my plot, continue mining, and getting my way to rank up to a which costs 800k which is crazy but what am i gonna do what i'm gonna do is probably try to find a way to get a lot of money show it to you guys and yeah i'll just continue doing that and also i'll be doing my chest shop in the future um in the next episode and also want you guys to give me more ideas on my plot what how should i build this and what chest shops should i have to scam people and it has to be good chest shop so don't give me some random crap like one mushroom for 10k or something you know so yeah anyways guys hope you enjoyed once again and uh i'll see you later oh yeah and also one more last thing um if you actually play on the server so if you play on cooncraft please leave a comment down in the description saying you play on cooncraft i just want to know um who plays on cooncraft that actually watches my channel uh my channel because that's actually going to be pretty cool and if you can, if you want to, it's just optional, but if you want to, um, tell me you play on Cooncraft and also give me your IGN in the game. And I may do a plot review. So if you want to get your plot reviewed, leave a comment in the description, do something like that, like the video, I don't know. And I'll do some stuff for you. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, guys. Thanks so much for watching.